Flawless and Flawless Rage 2 bringing you another video. Now I'll hand over to the real Flawless. Yes, indeed. Hello, people. Merry Christmas. This is um, uh, just gone into Boxing Day when I'm recording this. And I thought I'd bring you this um, video because this is one of the gifts that I received today. Uh, let's bring the box in and we'll take a closer look at the device. This is the Groove or Groovy Retro Personal Cassette Player and Recorder. Features a built-in speaker, an AM, FM radio, integrated microphone and earphones were included. Um, the one on the box looks white, but mine, as you saw, was silver. Um, just what the spine of the box looks like. A bit more stuff um, about it there. You can pause and read that if you want to. Um, so this thing runs on uh, two AA batteries. And I've been wanting something to play my tapes back for a while. I have some uh, Michael Jackson tapes and just had nothing to play them on, really. I've had um, different cassette decks here and there, but they've never really sort of like, you know, come up to standard. So I thought, you know what? I know that that's a cheap thing, but right now I'm going to be, um, uh, you know, needing to find something just to play these tapes back so I can listen to them. I have the the albums on vinyl and also on um, uh, CD and that, but I wanted to listen to my tapes. Um, so um, I asked um, for one of these for Christmas, and thankfully I got one. Um, so yeah, this is the retro personal cassette player and recorder. Let's um, take a closer look at the device itself. Here it is. You just saw it there. It has a radio on it. I can actually pop the radio on as long as there's no music. Um, at the top, it's got your controls there. It's got your headphone jack, your um, uh, tape or radio selector, your tune and dial there for your radio, and a um, FM and AM there. Let's pop it on. Okay. So the radio... See if we can find anything. There we go. The fuck? There we go. That's enough. Um, that's some sort of like someone look, like sounds like they're reading a the fucking story or something. Um, so yeah, it's got um, it's got a radio on it. Now you can record from the radio on this to a cassette tape such as one of these. This is just a standard TDK FE Ferric ninety. Um, I've got this was um, I unboxed this this morning. Uh, this was um, new old stock, and I got it out of the case brand new this morning. Um, and I've got to say, for once you get the radio tuned in properly and um, you start recording off the radio, um, it does sound not too bad. Um, but it is um, one of these cheap mechanisms inside, which we will look at in just a second. Before I do, it comes with headphones. It comes with these headphones, okay? Now, I don't get on well with these headphones. These are really cheap headphones, but, um, but they do, you know, have the metal inside there to make them look a bit more upmarket than they actually are. But these are very cheap headphones. They always fall out of your ears. Don't really produce that much of a good sound. So I've decided to go against using these and I'm going to use my funky ones that you saw instead because they have an, um, uh, a line in. So I'm going to use that as a, as a um, input for this, which I have been doing. I've played some tapes on it. Um, I can't detect much wow and flutter on this. Um, but it does play a tiny bit fast, but I'm not too bothered about that, really. Um, so that's not too bad. At the um, top of the unit, you do have your microphone there, your volume. You've got your record button, your play uh, button there. You've got your stop button, fast forward button, and rewind button. Now, remember that there, that's facing that way. So it means the tape runs that way, okay, not the other way. Um, or two arrows. This is not an auto-reverse unit. If I can, I'll show you inside of it. And you will see in there the telltale spring that everyone goes on about. This is a Tenashin type mechanism. Um, you can tell that with the spring. You can see the motor clearly at the back here. Um, and it's also got that blue head there. That is a permanent erase head. That's how you know it's a cheap deck. But 
A lot of people slag these off, and I've been using this most of the day, and I've got to say, I haven't had any um, problems with it. You know, I've made a couple of recordings and stuff. What you heard there at the beginning, me talking, that was made obviously using this. You know, so it's not really too bad. Now, on the box, it does recommend use 60-minute cassettes for optimum performance. Does it really matter? I mean, you know, I personally don't think it does. What I'm using here is a Ferric 90, and it's a, um, you know, and it's been recording fine on them. So I can't see any issues there with it. One thing I can tell you it does come with is the um, uh, operator's guide and uh, tells you about what everything is and stuff and all of that. Now, this does run on a micro USB um, for power if you don't have any batteries, which is located just about there. Let me turn it around so it's facing the right way. And if we can get it into focus, that'd be nice as well. But we can't, or maybe we can a little bit. It says micro USB, so not USB-C, unfortunately. And it takes a five a five volt USB input to use this on like a mains lead. So an old sort of phone charger would power this. So that's not too bad. And just also at the top there, you do have your dial for the radio use. Okay. So it's not too bad. And I kind of like, um, you know, I kind of like having it, using it. I'm not going to basically be using it all that much with my headphones. I'm going to hook it up to my stereo because that doesn't have a cassette deck. So I'm going to be playing my tapes on this through my stereo. I'm mainly going to use it as a player. But yeah, you have got the option to record a conversation between you and a friend. Or you can record off the radio. So if there's sort of like a... If you're one of these people who wants to listen to a talk about music or... If there's like um, a news article you're interested in or, you know, things like that, you can record them off the radio for personal use only um, and stuff like that. So it's not too bad. Um, the AM radio reception isn't bad. I've had um, I've had that on a little while today and been listening to it. And I've got to say it, um, it hits all the right notes for me. So, you know, this um, was a present for, um, for me. It came from Amazon. Um, I think it's roughly in the £20 mark. So it is a cheap little thing, but it does the job. And I'm really, really happy with that. So there you go. That's just a quick review of the um, Groove E, or Groove, however you, help you pronounce that. Um, retro personal cassette player and recorder with AM FM radio. Hope you like this video, guys. I'm going to be getting out of here now, but thank you once again for watching. It has been an absolute trip with you. I'm recording this on Christmas Day going into Boxing Day, so um, you will be seeing this in the new year, though. Um, I'll, put, I'll be putting this up probably on January 1st. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe here if you're new. Turn on post notifications to be notified every single time I upload a brand new video or stream. Also, follow me on Instagram at Flawless Rage 2. But for right now, guys, it is time for me to go. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. And always remember to be you, be the real you, be the true you, because who are you if you're not? Thank you for watching, guys. Cheers and goodbye.